the big question, we know Derek Lively's going pro, Dariq Whitehead's going pro, Tyrese Proctor said he's coming back, uh, Mitchell said he's coming back. The big one now that we're waiting to hear from is Kyle Filipowski. Yeah. Is Kyle Filipowski, a lot of people project him to be a first-round pick, but potentially a latter part of the first-round pick. Does he come back? D- does he decide to come back for a second year to boof- boost his draft stock? Dude's going to make plenty of money in terms of NIL, name yeah. image of like this money. Yeah. So it might be more worth it for him to stay for another year, continue to develop under John Shire, and then maybe go pro after his second season. You know, it's interesting if you follow uh, the, the Duke uh, account, uh, Twitter account, mm-hmm. Duke MBB, they've been kind of trolling Duke fans this week. Oh, yeah? Earlier this week on, on Tuesday, they actually tweeted the 2023-2024 season. That's all it said. With a video of Mark Williams and Trevor Keels sitting down eating popcorn. Okay. It makes it seem like there's something to be ready for. Yeah. During this time where announcements are being made, Mm -hmm. right after that we learned Derek Lively's going pro. Yeah. So who else do you need to have your popcorn for? Well, we know Tyrese Proctor's coming back. Filipowski? My guess. It's so they they've been they've been trolling and and Kyle Filipowski's been a part of that too. Like you know, just uh, when the guys are coming back, he's like, yeah, all right, let's do it. Yeah. When Lively said, I'm going, he's all sad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's a way that they've been involved that's mm-hmm. kind of interesting. So it makes me wonder, um, you know, what exactly is going to be the end game? Because, like, if he does decide to go to an NBA, cool, people will be happy for him. That's all good. But what does all of that other stuff mean? I don't know. It's, it's got to mean something. They've been trolling. They've it's been trolling. Gotta guys. mean something. They've been, they've been trolling. I think he does come back. I, I think I th- I think if he was announcing that he was going pro, we would have heard it by now. That's just my opinion. I, I can't remember what the cutoff date is to declare that you're going pro, or there is the potential that you can back out if you, you don't sign out, with yeah. an agent. There is that little bit of a, a deadline. He's, I'm sure he's waiting to hear from the NBA and from teams about where he's projected to go, but. It could Still. be just like he could just be waiting on what do I need to work on for next year. Yeah. Like if you guys are looking at me, and I think mostly the thing that he was missing was you in high school he was known for his outside shot. He You looked at him more of a stretch forward. He really played center this year. Oh, yeah, well, because Lively was hurt <laughs> a lot of those seasons he, he played center, and then he ended up really excelling in that role. But you haven't seen the three-point shot that he was known for coming out of high school, mm-hmm. so it makes me wonder if that's what you can see a little bit more here.